we'll preheat our little Dutch oven here. A little 12 inch. Halibut, bacon wrapped asparagus. Life is good in Alaska. Stuffed broccoli and cheese halibut. Man, what a meal right here, buddy. You get pretty good thick fillets of halibut, or you can use lingcod if you want, and you cut you a pocket in them. I guess get a knife, kind of hold them up like this, get the knife, cut down in them, but you don't want to go all the way through because they're going to be stuffed. Then you get a little bit of garlic powder, sprinkle it on like this, a little bit on each side, some black pepper, and a little bit of salt, and some good old Smokey Joe's Hungarian Game Spice. Some good old Hungarian paprika, all kind of different spices. Rub that in a little bit, flip them over. Same thing on the other side. A little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper, salt, and a little bit of Smokey Joe's Hungarian Game Spice. Rub it in. Now we're gonna make our stuffing mix, which has got mayo. What I like to do is mix my mayo and the wet ingredients, cheese and all that first and add the broccoli last. Seems like it mixes up a little bit better. Some lemon juice, some garlic powder, pretty good bit, some cheese, this Parmesan cheese, you can grate it or sliced up pretty fine. Onions, sharp cheddar, mix that up good. Just till it all kind of binds together a little bit. We can put a little bit of this extra pepper I got in there. Okay, now we just add, I think it's about two cups of broccoli. Cook, you don't, you don't want it raw because it don't take long for it to cook. So you cook the broccoli where it's just kind of crunchy. It don't have to be mushy. Easy recipe, easy, easy recipe. You be talking to town. All right, so we got our pockets here and all we do is get this mixture and go right down in there. Don't push it too hard because you might break the filet. And I like to get my fingers and go like that. That's good on that one. Set it right there. Boy, that's gonna be a good one right there. It's fatty. Perfect. Look at that baby all swole up. Got a little busted hole in it. Now, get right here. We got some bacon, pretty thick. And you just go right around here like this. What I do is kind of crisscross it. And like that, that's the way I do it. And some of that's going to come out, that filling, but there ain't nothing you can do about it. Okay, now ready to go on the grill. Let them babies go for about, probably about seven to ten minutes per side. If you can't flip them over, you know, if they're trying to fall apart and all that, just leave them right there and cook them for about 14 to 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. They'll be fine. It's been about 20 minutes, so that is just about perfect and probably have to do this to begin with. Not bad. These here didn't stick too bad. Like that. Put that baby right there. Man, that cheese and that filling's coming out of there. Mm -mm. And look at that. We'll put that right there like that. That's pretty, pretty. Man, stuff, broccoli and cheese, halibut, sun. It don't get no better than that.